What's good, brethren? Man, I had this thought process I'm about to uh, talk to you guys about right now. And uh, my bottom line, that I got it, man. Uh, you know, I was sometimes, like I tell you, I'm in a thought, just keep lingering and lingering. And I'm like, you know what? Let me get this off my chest. And this is one of the videos. Now, here, let's go. I was thinking about the bottom line of this. I'm going to go into some details and stuff, but America is only for making money. America is pretty much only for making money. America is only about making money. Now, I'm going to go into some specifics. <laughs> uh, See, the reason when I sit back and look at this, it just hit me yesterday. I'm like, yo, this place, what's going? Why don't relationships work? Why is women out of pocket? Why does the government f fund dysfunctionality within women? Why does the government fund the destruction of families? Why does the government give women money to leave, right? <laughs> Why does, like, this supposed to be a biblical based country, right? Where according to the Bible, a woman ain't supposed to, she's supposed to leave with uh, nothing, really. Literally. She ain't supposed to be able to take a bag, flip to the next guy, take his bag, then go out to, while simultaneously taking the bag from the previous dude, taking 50% of everything he earned, go over to Brad, Chad, Pookie, Ray Ray, or whoever, make her, you know, tingle and take the money she got from previous dude, simp and trick on Pookie, Ray Ray, you know what I mean, Brad and Chad. You know what I mean? And this, this is not functional. And I thought about this. I said, it's purposefully this way. America was always about money. When you look at the first real capital of America was what? Trading what? Slaves. Making money off of trading slaves. Terrorizing the blacks and the natives, right? Which many of definitely was black people, natives here. So my relatives are natives from my dad's side. So I don't know what tribe I'm from, but nevertheless. The uh, that's what America's history, it has a history of terrorism, a history, of, or excuse me, colonization. It has a history, man. The white man, is, it is what he do, man. And this ain't no racist. It is what it is. I understand it because I understand scripture. I understand that this was, how to, and we'll go into that a little bit. This is the kingdom, the last Edomite slash white slash, you know, European slash Caucasian kingdom that there ever will be. Yeah, you know I mean, this is the pinnacle. And, uh, it's like a king, spiritually speaking. It's like a king. Well, and physically speaking, he has this, you know, drinking cup, like his uh, he dr where he drink his wine. You, you know what I mean? And his certain cup is a special cup, right? Made of gold, and he, you know, that's where he the special. That, that's you know, you you might have a. Brothers that like, you know, certain kind of, you know, liquors or whatever, wine. Personally, I like wine, but I like it. I don't like every wine because some of the wine with some of the sulfites. I like that. I like the organic wine from like Whole Foods and stuff, man. They have be organic and don't have the sulfites in it. That It's, it's more expensive, but well, then again, it ain't really all expensive compared to the other. I like I like the organic stuff myself, man. Because it don't have as many of those uh, preservatives and sulfites and crap in them. But anyways, I have a certain wine cup. You know what I mean? When I drink wine. You know what I mean? So what I'm saying is, spiritually looking at it, America is the Babylon, which is the most highest cup. Now, man, when I put this all together, y'all, hopefully y'all can see what I'm saying. It's saying the script. Well, let me see. Yeah, let's put it all together. Okay. Let's. I, mean, I like to get to the bottom line of things. So, spiritually speaking, the Most High Yah has put Babylon, it is the golden cup, and it is the place, 
this is a script, man. It's like a movie script. And within this movie script, he he has placed the good guys and the bad guys. Uh, but more specifically, Babylon is the bad place, considered the bad guys that he hate. And the king has a cup. And the cup uh, is the golden cup in this case is Babylon. And Babylon <laughs> is filled to the brim almost with the things, multiple things that he hate. He hate abomination of false weight, false balances. In other words, money. First, in this example, we're going to use the money. We're going to use different things too. But the money in America is fake. But it's also, it used to be balanced on the, dollar, on the gold, which is real money. But now it's literally did just create on the screen out of zero, out of nowhere, aka Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, literally money out of nowhere. But then you look at the fiat currency, the actual dollar, that's un unjust weights and balances. So that's abomination number one. Then you look at the abomination of the pushing of sodomy, aka the rainbow coalition. That's abomination number two. Then you look at the feminism, which you look in uh, Ezekiel, I believe it is, you talk about the diva, essentially the diva spirit, where the two female fallen angels was carrying a basket. That's a, it was, so, but that represent feminism, which he did say that he will allow a woman to be over a man for a period of time. You see what I mean? So that's all in one cup, in one golden cup, feminism in one golden cup. False money in one golden cup, pushing of sodomy in one golden cup, sorceries, AK drugs. <clears throat> I don't say that too loud, but uh, you know, I got my last one of the videos banned because of that. So you got the fake money, you got the sodomy, you got the the sorceries. This difference between sorceries and witchcraft. Witchcraft is kind of like they go hand 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 in hand often, you know what I mean? But one is the the alchemy, if you will, kind of like, you know, chemicals and stuff like that. Like, you know what I mean? Drugs, basically, or pharmaceutical. That would be like, you know, sor sorceries, you know what I mean? But, you know, witchcraft would be like spells and, and doing all that, you know, Ouija board and all that kind of stuff. It, way more complex than that, but in general is what I'm saying. So, but that's what America was, who is the biggest producer of sorceries, a.k.a. drugs. U.S., biggest consumer. Then I ain't put that on the list, but you look at a, you look at fornication. Some people say pornication, but you look at that, who is the biggest mass producer of P-O-R-N and consumer of it, you guess it, America. All these go into the golden cup. You see what I mean? Then the other, what was it, number five, six thing that goes in is the, the, the trading no, the blood of the saints, the blood of souls of men, basically. That's a thing that's included in the golden cup. So well, how does that apply? Well, look at the slave. <laughs> Man, I, I look how many slaves came along on the slave uh, ships that died over the way over here. Now, but that's number one. Jeez, man. Then the ones that died when they was here and treated and terrorized and stuff. But also, by the white man. Not being racist it is what it is. This is the history. Oh, no, 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 no that, that didn't happen. No, 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 no. Yes, it did. But when you look at that, the souls of men, uh, but also look at abortions. Or I should say child deletings. So much, I bet you that more, oh my gosh, I bet you that more, more children have been uh, deleted by their mothers their blood is crying out. Again, that goes into the golden cup. So they're, you know what I mean? Their blood is crying to the most high they in heaven growing up. But you know what I mean? They were slain by their mothers. You see what I mean? For the desire to continue in feminism, which is, you know, another thing that's in the golden cup. So all these things, bro, all these abominable things, but I, well, like I said, I think that more children, uh, man, I can't keep using these keywords because then, you know, <sighs> you know, you got to kind of, you know, you don't know what algorithm is going to do. You know, YouTube algorithm, I ain't going to kick you off or whatever, you know, get flagged. So I'm going to put it like this. I think that more people have uh, been deleted through uh, 
the uh, abortions as opposed to uh, I don't know though, but the numbers as opposed to how many had like came across on slave ships. A lot of them was you know passed away that way. So let's use passed away. So a lot of you know I think that more have been we talking about millions and millions and stuff, bro. So that's the souls of men that the book of Revelation talk about. So you got again you got the feminism which is the abomination which is basically women usurping the authority of the man, which was the first sin, actually. Eve was the first feminist of her woman coming to the beginning of sin. So America was always about money. My main specific point, and I'm, that's my bottom line, but I wanted to put all that to show you, uh, I just felt compelled to do that. These are the multitude, multiple abominations. Why the Most High? So it's written in the script that with the Most High, he going he despised America because of all these abominations. Basically, he allowed the hand, mankind to do whatever the heck they wanted to do in this place called America. You know, gave it free reign, and now you got the spilled blood of the of, of the you know, when I say the the. Removal of the children, let's put it like what I say, removal of the children, passing away of the children by the hands of the mother. You got the feminism, you got the uh, sorceries, you got the pornography pushed throughout the entire world, all from the hub of America. Who, like, I'm in Columbia and I'm watching, uh, I'm on a bus and I'm watching some kind of, I forgot what uh, movie it was, but it was an American movie, of course, with his, with Spanish uh subtitles uh, over a uh, voice voiceover and then of course right next to the tv is freaking uh idol uh you know mary idol you know what i mean mother mary idol diana thing whatever they big in the catholicism and stuff you know pictures and stuff above the tv but people vibe off of america now that's what i was thinking because america that's what my, my main point that kept kept uh vibing with me is America is just about making money. Now I'm going to get to my main point, but that's what I'm saying about the, the golden cup. The most high. So at the end of the script of the movie, America is written out before the last complete evil kingdom, you know, the Edomite kingdom, uh, the last, uh, what do you call it? Uh, it's still the same kingdom, but it's, it's, um, they got to eradicate Babylon from the power position. You see what I mean? The, the main military force, the main money force, the main force of propaganda, the main force of sodomy and, and, and the rainbow coalitionism. But they got to remove America from the power position and then bring in the beast system. You see what I mean? Where the beast himself shall reign. You know what I mean? But they got to remove the big you know, bully so he can reign as the, the bully. You know what I mean? On the earth, you know what I mean? And it's going to be like a... It's going to be, man... I envision it like... Uh, what was it? It was this, it was this movie that came... Uh, it's free on YouTube, actually, called New World Order. New World Order. Uh, that was a uh, pretty telling movie. It's free. It was two white chicks. One was blonde. The other one was dark hair, brown hair, black hair, whatever. And you'll see that. Look that up. And you can see kind of how this thing will be. But more specific, I don't know when it's going to take place, but more specific, when America falls, it was written that it would fall. And uh, so, and it shall be bathed with fire and destroy inward and outwardly. So that's what's going to happen. More specifically, back down to my main bullet points, man, is America has always been about money. Whether it's, because I, I look at America, I look at New York as a real um, capital of America. Because really, Washington, D.C., okay, but really the real, I mean, that's the capital capital, but the real capital is where the capital was made. The money was made in trading slaves, trading souls of men, trading this, trading that. And, and, and rather, even now, what is it about? Trading this, trading that, trade Wall Street, trading this. It's all about money here in America. Trading, uh, Oh, back to the other piece of the golden cup is the witchcrafts that America pushes, aka known as d different kind of witchcrafts or eh, not witchcraft. Well, 
philosophies and stuff that they promote through the movies. That's like big, that goes into the propaganda, but that's another thing in the Golden Cup. So, Most High going to pour out his wrath on the place of America because of all these overflowing abominations. See what I mean? Now, let's go back to what I was talking about the money. So, New York has been a place where trades is really the capital of America. It would be like Babylon of Babylon. You see what I mean? That's where, you know, the slaves exchange and, and, you know what I mean, all this stuff took place. And even right now, whether they trade in Forex or whether they trade in Wall Street or the Nas 100 or whatever, US 30, they trade, they trade in money. It's about money. And then the hub is what? America uh, is New York City. So I was thinking, I said, man, when I look back, it was always been about money. I mean, think about how young America is. Say 400 years since the you know blacks been here in this country, but I think the country was only a stat. That's young, bro. A country that's 400 years, bro. That's that's a young country. But I think I think it was like it's I, I'm probably wrong on this, but I think about 270 something years or something like that. America's technically established as a country. So, man, you talking about a few centuries, man, that America actually been established. And the history is just straight bloody, straight terrorism. You know what I mean? It's straight slavery. That's the history. That's the beginning of something. That's the beginning of America. And that's what it is. You see what I mean? Like, it just clicked. It just clicked. Like, the reason America, relationships don't work in America. Like, for example, the reason it don't is because it was never made to work. It was always meant, and it's never really got away from the slave plantation model. Now it's like, all right, you work this job, you got a child, you got a kid, you work this job, and you, you ain't with the woman no more, you work this job, and we're going to make sure that we're going to socialize this woman, that she is difficult to deal with and intolerable to deal with, and she and you going you, you, you gonna to either leave her, which don't happen that often where a man don't, he, men don't generally leave women, women, especially in America, women... Is the ones that leave because they finance to leave. He go pay her. The government, you know, the ex boyfriend or husband or baby daddy gonna pay her, and the government gonna pay her. And if he don't pay, he don't work this job instead of you don't work stay on this plantation and pay us our percentage and pay this whole your ex woman. You gonna go to jail, and that's 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 slavery. The slave plantation model has never really been done away with. Look at the prison industrial complex. It ain't, yo, bro, a lot of men is in prison because either alimony payments or child support payments and or whatever. And who is the government to tell you how much money you should be spending for your child? According, I thought, according to the Bible, according to America, is supposed to be a biblical-based country. Well, according to the Bible that America is supposed to be based on, the woman don't supposed to leave with the kids. The woman leave with nothing. You understand me? Clothes or whatever. Like, this is not meant to actually work. And I ask you a question. How many actual genuine cool relationships like that you act genuine, that you have in real life? Like here, on, you know, for us black men on this page here, you know, EBM, we like, yo, man, we have some brothers and stuff, and you, you know what I mean? And we talk and, you know, this is where you, I'm, I'm a genuine dude personally and brothers here. We genuine, you know, you got some slime balls in here and there, but you, like, I'm a, I try to be a real brother. Love your neighbor as yourself. And, uh, you know, that's, it is what it is. Believe me, it don't believe, I don't, it, it is what it is. But I have to say, in general, I ask you a question. How many genuine relationships do you have with real people, real brothers in real life or and or real actual feminine, you know, feminine, cool sister? It ain't it ain't really like that. Like, I'm not going from the D, but, you know, in Michigan, it's cold up here and people are cold. But I know it's different in different places. Uh, people more social and stuff down south. You know, hey, y'all, hey, y'all I like down south myself. But there's clearly a problem between the males and the females in this country, whether some are nice or whatever. They're government-sponsored agents 
of destruction. You see what I mean? So when I when I think about this, man, America is only a place to make money. I, it just clicked, man. Okay, it always has been a place about either trading the slaves or trading the forex. Make it is about the government making a cut, the people in power making a cut. So you pay this child support, you go to jail. You pay this child support, we'll get our eight to ten percent cut about every payment you pay, or you take your ass to jail. You know what I mean? That's how. That's the system. That's not. You can't build families with this. And if you build, they will come, right? <laughs> if you build it, they will come. You know, if you build it. The woman and the government go come for your resources. Oh, you know, you just didn't find it. Like people say the catchphrases. Well, you just need to do it the right way or you just didn't find the right woman. Right. It, like, yo, like you got a crystal ball. You can read in the future. You see these things going on, man, with Diddy, Sean Diddy. You see the thing going on with I keep Jonathan Majors, I believe his name is. With that Marvel and stuff and Disney. You see these things going on with these different dudes where they getting stripped. Jeff Bezos, uh, back in the day, get stripped by his ex-wife for a billion dollars. This is, and, and guess who get a cut of that? The percentage of every divorce, every child support payment. You guessed it. The powers that be. This is a place to make Money. This is a slave plantation. It has never been anything else. And the people that you primarily deal with, these are, you know, man, that's a hard thing to say, man. But in general, this is a slave plantation. And these, you got your plantation wife or girlfriend, plantation children, and possibly plantation friends. You might find a real genuine friend, but man, we really look at this. This is why relationships don't work. It's like monetarily based. There's a saying that America is built to make money and people in other countries, uh, what was it? Those countries are built to, to live. Something like, oh yeah, yeah, here you go. I think they said Americans work uh, live to work. That, that's I think that's one of Americans live to work, and people in other countries just work so they can live and have a livelihood. They, you know what I mean? But America is about money. Like what kind of like where, where the friends at? You know what I mean? <laughs> and then your woman, she socialized and financed to leave you. So it's purposefully made not to work. It's fine. Like this is not accidental. I don't know, maybe this is, you know, you already knew this and stuff, but when I sit back and look, I'm like, yo, bro, it just clicked. This is, America's only a place for making money. Not saying you can't have a relationship that works and stuff, but this is what I was thinking. This is the the power. No, this is what I was thinking. That's why, man, I'm working on some things, bro. I, but uh, that's the, I look at it like this. Okay, this is the power of expatting lifestyle for a brother is because in America, uh, because of the Ponzi scheme of the dollar. Right now, the dollar, yeah, it could change. The BRICS nations come up with a new currency January 1st and cause more turbulence and, and uh, uh, what do you call it? You know, the dollar become less relevant over time or instantaneously. We don't know. It's a lot of turbulence going on here. But my thing is like this, brothers. I think this is what I'm doing. I ain't giving that financial advice. But what I'm endeavoring to do, and uh, I got to get more silver, but my thing is like this. It's like a Ponzi scheme. It's like right now the world look at the dollar and they don't know all this stuff a lot of times that we know. And if the, the dollar is not pegged to gold, you know what I mean? They're, they're, most people don't ever have financial like understanding, literacy, like that gold itself and silver is actual literal money. And it's because the gold standard is not, like America, the dollar is not attached to gold anymore for since 73, 72, 1970. So that's, that's freaking 40, 50, that's 50 years. Well, well, let me see. 90. 
Yeah, about 50 years. That gold is not, uh, since Nixon took detached the dollar bill from gold, now it's just basically dead. But this is, this like, through every chaos, you have opportunity. So I'm looking at it like this. I said, America is basically here to make money. It's not a country. So I'm like, you know what? This is an opportunity that we can make money using this fake money, which is the dollar, which is overinflated money. Fake money would be cryptocurrency, but you know, real money is actually. But that one point, use this to buy actual real gold. Use this, the leverage of this dollar to get a place overseas where you can uh, buy, I don't know, land for very cheap. Build a house there or what do you know what I mean? Really, I'm really thinking like buy gold. If you got like 50,000, 100,000, I put me personally, if I had that kind of bread after all expenses, I'd probably put like 80% in precious metals. So when the dollar crash, I have a few dollars, I have a few crypto, 10% of crypto, 10% of real money, something like that. So uh, crypto and 10% of crypto, 10% in, uh, you know, fake dollars and, and like 80% in silver and, go, and gold because it's going to crash. And when it crash, you can flip that into whatever currency because gold is real actual money. Gold, they don't lose its value. Silver don't lose its value. It just, it's the Ponzi scheme. So what I'm saying, as long as the Ponzi scheme of the dollar is still relevant and people still uh, believe that it's actually relevant, is that's all that the currency is. That's all that the cryptocurrency is. The same thing. People just got confidence in it. Oh yeah, well it's backed by what? It ain't backed by gold. It's backed by confidence. People have confidence in the United States dollar, so poof, it's valuable. Perception is a reality to these people. I know the reality that gold is actual money and silver, but and the uh, elites, <laughs> they got the gold. You know what I mean? They collecting gold. <laughs> but they give people the Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency. They give people the fake fiat currency. Y'all take that. We'll take the gold. Why do you think they want the gold? So I, I, okay, just I'm looking. I'm just looking at all angles. Since America is not built for families it, to sustain families, I'm like, okay, I, keep this. I'm like, like I said, I ain't there all the way when it comes to, it just hit me yesterday, man. <laughs> Cause I was like, it's frustrating when you uh, are, you see how things should work, but you see how effed up it is. It's like, why do you, cause like I'm looking at, I was saying, all right, these, uh, but yesterday was like a, a release, an understanding. It's a liberating, powerful understanding. What I'm giving y'all right here, dude, my America is basically a place to make money. It's not a place to have, for the most part, with exceptions, don't get me wrong, and this don't apply to who it don't apply to, and I would never speak this kind of stuff on anybody. However, in general, I have to say that there is a big problem with loneliness in America, human connection with each other. All this stuff is orchestrated because America is primarily a place to make money. I know they did some social engineering and stuff on the public to make it this way. People become more isolated. However, they did all this stuff. And it's worse than when I grew up. And you know, boom, I just thought about it. I think social media has a lot to do with that too with social, isol so social isolation and stuff. Because now people just, they don't really live regular lives. Like when I grew up, man, we used to go out, play video games. We didn't even want to stay in the house and play video games. We wanted to go out and play football, baseball, basketball. You know what I mean? Or just go run to the store and walk here, walk there, man. But when social media came, people became more uh, more isolated. I have noticed that. Uh, and I think that is a main tool that keep people isolated too and they live their life through social media i know one chick man she be liking all my photos not all of them but she be post she a super social media posting chick like she she it's a white chick man she posts post 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 i'm like gosh oh she had this surgery uh look at the look at the the iv in my arm like dang bro like where's your life that's a woman you can't have as no girlfriend, bro, because her life is social media. 
And she, yeah, it's, yeah, that's bad, bro. But that's like that movie, The Surrogates, where they live their life through like a machine or through like a fake life. I really think that social media really isolated people's social, um, like us, I'm, like I said, I'm early 40s, man. So I had to interact with people. I, I've seen these different uh, transformations, man. Before we even had cell phones, we had to go and communicate with people and stuff. And so I kind of hunger for genuine connections because that's what I grew up with, man. You know what I mean? So I don't like BS, man. And, uh, but I, I've, I've come to a conclusion. The reason this don't work, that, yeah, you know, the reason that maybe that social media was a tool to, to uh, you be used to isolate people. And I think so. And could put them in their own bubble and people are more antisocial. Like, for example, you go to the gym and now women are going to the gym, working out. They got a tripod there while they, you know, doing their squats, tight yoga shorts, showing their camel toe. And then, like, also you have, which is totally uh, uh, narcissistic, you know what I mean? And totally self-absorbed. Then you also have it where a dude looking at a chick as she's stretching in her in her panties or excuse me, her yoga shorts, then and basically naked. He is a man. He going to look at this one like, wow, vagina, booty and ass cracking titties. You know what I mean? Like this is you naked as a man. I'm like, whoa. So but if you look at her and she feels creepy, he creepy, right? He's creepy. If he's the right good looking guy, then oh, he's flirting with me. But if he's the wrong guy, oh, he's creepy. He's creepy. This is a, <laughs> this social media is really, so now a lot of men are like, y'all don't even want to go to the gym. I don't even want to look at these chicks. I don't even want to have interactions with them because now, shoot, man, this bra can literally put charges on me. Uh, even at work, they say, hey, you look nice today. What? She, ah, the creepy, uh, you know, Charles in Sector 2. Oh, my God. And, you know, she goes to HR, and I feel so uncomfortable around Charles in Sector 2. Charles get called into uh, HR office. Well, you know, Charles, uh, we're going we to we're gonna let you go. And so now he's got this blemish on his freaking record as a sex offender, right? Or an offender. Like, this is bull. Like, dude, like, and, and people say, well, it ain't that bad, dude. It, it could be that. It's always that bad when it happens. But if it ain't happening to somebody else, they say, oh, it ain't that bad, really. This hasn't happened to them. With the Marvel Comics dude, you know what I mean? Uh, Jonathan Majors, that's the most recent heavy hitter. <laughs> it's like, dude. <laughs> but even look at that. Look at that. Uh, she can come out and say, oh, you know, write a book about my life with Jonathan Majors. And then guess what? She gonna probably get a, a bag. It's about getting money, bro. This place is about getting money. America is all about money. So now she she can probably come up, uh, uh, play the victim, get the bag. That's the process. Play victim, place, it's three-step process. Play victim, press charges, get bag. Play victim, press charges, get bag. And that's that's what I look at, man. You even look at the Johnny Depp situation with his ex idiot woman. It was about getting a bag, man. It's like, yo, women is so like what I'm saying is is that okay. Why are you in this place called America? While America still has leverage and power, while the dollar specifically has leverage and power, and people still the economies and the countries around the world still, you can still go to another country and use a dollar and leverage this funny money, Ponzi scheme money, monopoly money. Get as much of it as you can, if you can, and get the hell out of here. You know, me too. You know, what I mean? you know uh, I'm working on this too, bro. But that's, I just clicked, man, like, yo, relationships ain't supposed to work here in this place. This is why women are standoffish. This is why women like chronically leave relationships and get the bag. This is why women, because they can and because it's purposefully like this. Trying to figure it out, 
women are, you know, the panels we sit around talking about female behavior, which all makes sense. But the only reason she could, you know, this is what women are going to do when they're financed, funded to do so. This is what they're going to do. So understand female nature is a really good thing that we've uh, been able to study by looking at these uh, savage women when they carry themselves with zero restrictions, zero repercussions, and zero responsibility. Like just take, throw charges. What was that, Brian Banks or Jonathan Banks? I forgot his name. The football player that got caught up with the fake grape charges, assault charges that he has sexually assaulted his chick. Six years later, after he'd been locked up like an animal for six freaking years, this hoe came out, oh, oh, yeah, well, you know, I lied about that, you know. Like, damn, okay. So then, we're, ain't, we're because there ain't no repercussions. Now she came out and said she lied about it. Okay, so now does she get a six-year term? Does she uh had to pay the million dollars she got? Did she got to pay that back? Nah. Zero repercussions, bro? It's like, how do you, because if you logically get a man try to figure this out, how do you win? Conclusion I came to, make money, make a lot of this fake money, buy gold, leave country. Yeah, I mean, this country is, is, is written within the laws to extract resources from men and to fund women leaving men. It can't really work. Like, only way it can really work, I ain't gonna say it can't work, but I'll put it like this. Ways that it can, <laughs> two ways I can think of that it can work is number one, you get a man, but even then it's dangerous. But because dealing with women in America is dangerous because they have, even if say, they have legal leverage, like you seen with the Jonathan Major situation, he literally. Yeah, you know I mean, she tried to steal his cell phone. She put he pushed the bra back in the car. Yeah, you know I mean, and then ran the opposite direction. Like, bitch, leave me alone. She, as I understand it, she chased it. No, as I saw it, she chasing the crap out of him, block after block. And then she's so scared for her life that she went and got drunk, even more drunk or whatever. And then so scared for her life that she went back to their apartment together. And then he called the police to say, remove this bitch. Then he get caught up with charges. <laughs> he get caught up with charges. <laughs> Bruh, like, these are multi-millionaire dudes and they can't win. Like, even what I'm saying is, all right, the way that you, <laughs> the way, and when I look at this logic, okay, how can you win at dealing with women in this society? If you're a dude who get the, uh, a lot of women and stuff and you got, you know, the personality, looks, or whatever that she like, okay, you're going to get the number of women, a decent number of women, and smash. But then you got to also think, what if this chick get in her feelings and see you uh, with another girl or something, either Instagram, whatever, and now she's like, huh, right? And that's, I'm, I'm going for the top dudes that, you know, she actually find attractive. What if she changed her mind and now uh, she jealous, she in her feelings? And now she put charges on that. Because remember, even your Pookies, your Ray Ray, your Brad and Chaz, in and out of jail dudes, they get put in and out of jail, not just because they're doing uh, stuff uh, and, and distributing illegal uh, materials, <clears throat> right, pharmaceuticals, but they also get thrown in jail behind what? Child support. You see what I mean? So they, she'll get rid of a, you know, a Brad and Chaz and a Pookie Ray Ray too. She get she put him in jail too. Yes, I mean she used this system when Brad or Pookie started slapping her or whatever, which she liked in the beginning. But after a while, you know she liked the drama. She put him in jail, lock him up, and then she miss him, and she jump on a, a, another dude, and then oh, but I miss him too. So now he come out of jail. The one she put in jail on charges or child support or, or D, uh, DV charges, dude, it's not winnable. So even a dude that she actually find attractive, he ain't safe because this bitch can use the system, put start a fight, create charges, play victim, get bagged. Now, the bag might be monetary or the bag might be, well, mainly monetary, but also it might be that she wants the drama 
and she wants the power, whatever her leverage, her currency is, she wants to have power over this dude, bruh, or she might just want to see him miserable because now he, she knows that he done moved on with another woman. Man, I don't see logically how this could work. I'm just being generous here. Okay, now one way it could work is that, okay, you're with a female, the quote, quote, right female, and she decides to stay with you. So if she decides to stay with you, poof, it works. But the moment she don't want to stay with you no more, for whatever myriad of reasons, you just need to find a good sister, a sister that's in the truth, ha. Huh? And y'all, okay, great. But where would that sister decide not to be in the truth? That movie, uh, I like that movie with Rodney Dangerfield called My Five Wives. And it perfectly shows you, see, Women can do what they can do because culture allowed them to do whatever the hell they want to do. This is American culture. It was built from making money. Family, this is a plantation. Man, dude, this is powerful. I mean, I understand this now. So my, it's about culture. It's about environment. These women and my five wives was uh, in a subculture, in an environment, I believe in Utah. And he ended up having these five wives. And uh, he purchased the property and the wives came along with it. And uh, two other wives came later or something like that. So now the women were purchased this property, essentially. But as long as these women stayed, their world was compressed to that subculture in Utah and stuff, then he would have a high quality you know, experience dealing with his women. But what this simp white dude did, Rodney Dangerfield, I think you we should go to Las Vegas. Uh, so he take his feminine, in shape chicks, who are cooking and docile and whatever, you know, t- and giving them sex all the time. <laughs> sex brings them to freaking Las Vegas. Poof! They hear some woman talking. Man ain't this, and man ain't that. And you know, leave it to the white man to, to mess up. A good thing. These women is in pocket. Oh, we need to liberate them, right? Right. And like I say, I ain't trying to be racist. This is this is what they do, man. Whether it's Greek culture, Roman culture, let's liberate our females. Yeah. <sighs> but anyways. <sighs> man, I just thought about it. It's a side note. I was like, why would they liberate the females? But now I look at the history. They good at creating weapons. And liberating the female is basically weaponizing the female. You know what I mean? So why? But this is the, you know this is the white man history create weapons or this or that or mass destruction or the weaponry of vaccine. You know, scene, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, certain weapons. You know what I mean? The propaganda weapon. These are people who create weapons, and so now the woman's been weaponized against the man. <laughs> it's just like they create backwards cultures, man. I think it was a good idea. So that's what Rodney Dangerfield, anyway, he gave his women liberty, essentially. And that's what happens, essentially, if you bring a foreign woman back to America, where she has all these powers and privileges, and she does not have to compete. And even if you're a millionaire dude, you go to Thailand or something, you bring your Thai wife back to America, so you can show her off and... Uh, you know, she needs a better life. I mean, look, bro, the reason that she's feminine and in shape and all of this stuff and competing is because she over in that country, in that culture where she has to compete for men. You bring her here, you remove the conditions that cause her to be feminine and attractive. Now, again, she may... Right, she may stay feminine and may, but that's all her. See what I'm saying? Is this how this can work? Is number one. Well, back to Rodney Dangerfield. But how this can work is if she chooses to keep stay with you and make it work. But a woman knowing that she has this leverage and power over you is going to be a difficult woman to deal with because she knows she can always leave and take the bag. So leaving the country getting a passport and having an expat type of lifestyle as a man is the really <laughs> only way I could see that a man uh, it's the best way actually because you can leverage this dollar this funny money abroad 
and have more leverage and power. You can get rent a freaking apartment for two hundred dollars. You know what I mean? Uh, Airbnb in different countries, bro. I seen a hundred fifty dollars. Well, like a one bedroom for like a month, bro. Like that's leverage. So this this is what I'm personally working on. But I just so I'm like, all right, as long as it's I, I got, I want to keep repeating it. Right now, the dollar is looked upon by the world as still the re, world reserve currency. And it's still the most powerful currency that is. So right now, we know that it ain't based on nothing no more. You know, it's not even attached to gold. But however, use this fake money and buy gold with it. That's how I look at it. That's how I look at it, man. Because when the Ponzi scheme over and the dollar collapse, then right now I think gold, gold is by. I ain't looked in a few days, but. Right now, gold is around two thousand dollars. So when a dollar collapse, gold probably gonna go up to three thousand dollars per ounce or thirty five hundred. I don't know. You know what I mean? But what I'm saying is, chaos breeds opportunity, and when you know whatever chaos hits America or hits a dollar, it's an opportunity for those who have positioned themselves and make this paper, make paper, make this gold. And when a gold, yeah, I, I, you know, I'm just looking at it from every angle, man. But back to this woman. And why it don't work, and because it's purposefully not made to work, so that the government and the powers that be can make they what money and they percentage. They don't care nothing about making families work. They don't care about that. It is purposefully made not to work. They fund the dysfunction of females so that they can break families up and make money. Who was that dude uh, that was interviewed? Uh, Rockefeller that said that they funded the feminist movement so that they can make do what make money off both <laughs> the males and the females. So what I'm saying, this is a place, in my opinion, you do your own thing, but my advice is to look at America. I, and I, I'm like, I put, I wrote this up in a key place in my, my in my uh, house America is only about making money. And when I look at it that way, I'm like, oh, okay. So these women is basically not, we already know they're not valuable. They're not going to change. They don't have family traditional values. Oh, oh, let me get back to, okay, how can this work? Number one, if she chooses to stay with you, basically, and she's simping on you, okay, it can work. But again, women, mm, you, you run the risk that she's going to leave. And if you got kids or if she feel, oh, you moved on with another girl, she might get in her feelings. So what what she used to thirst and simp after you, now she can, in the future or whatever, she now can flip and say, oh, he abused me. Oh, I want a bag. Oh, he, he did this and that. And by her taking you to court, she going to get, the court going to get a percentage in fees or percentage. If you got kids, you'll get percentage of child support. It's all about percentages, bro. America is about making money. So I was thinking about this dude uh, I listened to a while ago. He was basically, this, you know, probably about three dudes I heard would say the same thing. Basically, make your American money, have no dealings with women in this society, and then take your bag and go overseas. You know what I mean? And they might do it for like a month and then come back. You know what I mean? But my thing is, I want the bag. I don't ever want to see this place again. This is a defiled place waiting for destruction, bro. I know of this, but what I'm saying is it's like a, revel a, a release. Uh, uh, I understand that this wasn't built to work. I understand that the re why the women are so terrible here is because they simply can be. And women around the world, if they get the same opportunities and stuff to be like, you know, American women with all the rights, privileges and legal powers, who would set up a system that allows the weaker vessel, the woman, to strip a man of fifth half? 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 Who's uh, Eddie Murphy? Half Eddie? Give me half Eddie Murphy that... Uh, Com comedy skit, I think it was Raw. I want to watch Raw. It's been a minute since I've seen Raw. The comedy skit where he said he, uh, you could bring an African chick, you know, from, from Africa, tribal chick, 
or whatever, for Ubuntu or whatever. You bring her here, you know what I mean, to America. You're over in Africa, you know what I mean, in Uganda or something. She's, okay, I cook for you. I cook for you, Eddie, no problem. Okay, so she over there cooking and cleaning, staying in shape. You understand me? Doing all kind of cool sexual things that your woman's supposed to be doing as your woman, right? But when she come uh, to America, this back in the 80s when Eddie Murphy said this, I think. And she was like, she come to America and Americanized and these women started spitting in her ear. You ain't got to put up with this. You ain't got to do this. Mbutu, you understand me? Mbutu, you ain't got to do this. You ain't got to do that. You ain't got to rub his feet. You know what I mean? You ain't got to massage him. You ain't got to clip his toenails. That's extra. That's extra. And Ubuntu, simple ass, oh, I don't have to do this. Oh, and then she finds, you know, you can divorce him, Ubuntu, and you can take half. Half, I can take half of his money. Oh, and she go back to uh, Eddie, you know, go back to Eddie. Eddie, I want half. I don't have to cook for you anymore. <laughs> Y'all see what I mean? Who in a correct mind? What man in a right mind would set up a society that allows men to be stripped of half of everything they've ever earned in their entire lives for a piece of ass. Y'all see what I mean? A biblical-based country where the Bible says she leaves with nothing, right? And no money. That's what it say. And no money. I thought this was based on the Bible. I thought this was a Christian country. Well, why you ain't going by the Bible? It's stupid to, to set this up. See, if women... You know, women in different countries like patriarchal constructs, man. They they ain't divorcing dudes so quick. They like I, I gotta stay with this guy. I, I gotta stay with him because their whole livelihood depends on this dude. Their protection, their guidance, the monetary. You know, what I mean, they they understand the order. Like in America, women are look at men as made to order. <laughs> they got starter husbands, man. They break him, make a certain amount. They already planning how to break him and. What are you going to do with the money? What kind of surgery? They, they literally got a strategy on how to, you know, get rid of this dude, get rid of the next dude. But they always got a dude over here who make her tingle, right? But then when he stopped making her tingle, right, and maybe she got a kid by him, put him on charges too. Gosh, bro. Whew. So the blessing would be if she don't put you on charge, but it's always there for her. And so that's what I was thinking, man, how it can work. Is that all right? If she chooses to stick with you, and it's like her choice, and that's a that's a kind of a difficult thing to really be depending upon. You know what I mean? Because it's it's like it's you basing it upon her choice, but I'm talking about like your your marriage and whether or not like what I'm saying is you choose to marry a woman here in this society. How it look? few ways that it can work is if she actually is dedicated to you and actually want to make it work and actually uh, is not, you know, trying to uh, strip you and, you know, it doesn't have an escape plan. <laughs> but what I'm saying is how, how you don't know, man. Yeah, you can't read the future. You don't know what this chick going to do. So you, when, I, when I look at it, you got to position yourself in dealing with women like a strategist. Not because she going to do this or that, because you don't know what she going to do. <sighs> it's like even scriptures say, give not a woman to uh, have power over your substance. Not just a woman, but anybody power over your substance, your substance being your money and the things you obtain in this example. But when you live in a society, man, geez, please, man, having a kid with a woman or being and or being married to a woman here is really a bad idea, man. And it can destroy men. So, because it's purposefully, legally set up like this to not work. So, I look at America now. I want to, this, I want to, I want to always look at it for what it is. America is a place for men to make their bread and escape if you can. Escape, uh, be a nerd, just making money, stack money like an ant, just stack money, flipping in the gold. Not again, I ain't giving that financial advice. I'm just saying some concepts. Disclaimer over. So now, um, that's how I look at it. America was all about monetary transactions, it ain't about living, 
ain't about family. If it was about family, they wouldn't fund the destruction of families. Like, you know, I mean, isn't that common sense? If it was actually about families, they would make laws that force women to stay in uh, relationships. They always say, well, men always leave. No, men ain't the ones that leave. It's a big step for a man. Men ain't getting married so they can... What what what, what man is like, oh, yeah, all right, in 3.5 years, I'm going to divorce her and take half. Oh, that was the other way it could actually work. It could actually literally work, actually. Yeah, number one, if she chooses to stay with you. But also, number two, <laughs> if she got more money than you, like, you know, K-Fed, you know, Kevin Federline married uh, Britney Spears. All right, it could work in that case, you know what I mean, where you leveling up because she rich, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it could work. <laughs> it could work that way. You know, that's like the only two situations it could work, you know what I mean? But, you know, you know, but that's that's if she don't put fake charges on you. And then that'll just remove your capability of hitting, them, hitting her purse, hitting her pocket. So, man, it's, it's, it's really kind of really dangerous dealing with bras in America, real talk. And I've... Uh, uh, you know, if I, you know, I kind of look at it like, man, if I had uh, to do all over again, I'd be a nerd. I'd be like a, I wouldn't even have no women like that, man. I would just, I, I've been kind of, I'm dealing with women since 15, sexually, but, you know, kissing and hugging since I'm 12 or something. You know, making out and all that bull crap. But, uh, yeah, so, man, I, I would be a nerd. I'd be a virgin. If I took the exact knowledge I got now, and man, I, I would, I'll be, I would just, man, I, I'll be a nerd, bro. I wouldn't even deal with American women, bro. All my whole focus would be just getting a bag. No, man, bro. Like you know, you know, that's what they always say. Like if I know then what I know now, I guess that's what it is, bro. It's like wisdom is given to the old, and they say youth is wasted on the young. <laughs> You know, being a youthful chick is awesome because she got everything. You know what I mean? But being a youthful boy, it's like, what is you really obtaining? Like, you you really come into your own so far as, like, uh, you know, your power, who you are as a person, all of this stuff. As you go through phases of life, you go through wins, losses, ebbs and flows and stuff. And you start living and you're like, oh, I'll learn this. Oh, I'll learn that. Oh, I'll learn it. See, you start growing and growing and continues to grow. And they say, oh, women uh, uh, mature faster than that. No, no, no. Women don't really mature. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, they come into their own and basically dudes want to smash them since they're 16 or something, 18. When they, you know what I mean? When they legal. Some states, you know, legal, whatever. But my point is they already have what men want already built in, which is their good looks and sexuality. You know what I mean? And they don't have to self-develop. They don't have to increase wisdom and knowledge. They don't have to look at, they don't have to go to ebbs and flows of life and wins and losses. They don't have to develop anything. Right? This is America. So these one-liners, oh, women develop, uh, women, this, that, faster than men. You know, how? And then everything is surrounded about her, around her beauty, and she got a bunch of females around her, co-signing her, as to, putting her own game as to how she can use her body to extract resources from men. It don't change. It don't freaking change. How is that maturity? It don't change. The plan don't change. Booty titties look good, attract men, extract from men. Like, that's the same formula. Women mature fast. That's bull. Mature unto what? Whether she's 40 years old, she got her hand out. 50 years old, she got her hand out. Or 18, she got her hand out. To who? Men. And she trying to use her sexuality to do what? Get Extract resources from men. Like, it's the same thing. You know, women mature. Mature? What have you learned in life? <laughs> like, so, <laughs> a man has a, you know, but a man has to go through something for the most part to acquire wisdom and knowledge. And even if he has a father, he can teach him some stuff. But, you know, it's going to take him time to, uh, you know, unless he hit the lottery or something or he's hit the genetic lottery and he's six foot five and freaking muscular and built. OK, he could be, you know, offensive lineman or something and he going to go pro. OK, that's a, the lottery, essentially. Well, you know, he will be in the lottery, you know, 
first round, second round, whatever. You know what I mean? But other than that, a regular dude, he got to, you know, build and create something and develop and learn. These are things that men do. All these stupid one-liners, bro. You can't look at just a woman because she's flourishing in life and marriage. Yes, it's gifted to her. She don't have to do nothing but just look good and dude's going to approach her. Simps is going to approach her with dollar bills. Oh, you want to come on my yacht? Oh, yeah, sure. How hard is that? Like, when people is approaching you, dollar bills in hand, opportunities in hand, because you got a nice booty and titties, how are you maturing faster than a man? Like, even the dude uh, that's 30, 40, whatever, he got to acquire these resources. Like, you know, it's, 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 a lot of bull crap, but, you know, a lot of BS thought processes here, man. You can go on and on about it, but I don't know. That one, uh, I don't like that, man, because the woman generally don't mature unto anything. She always got her hand out and always pretty much using guilt or booty and sexuality to extract resources from men. And it'll oh, help me. I'm just a little woman. Like, that's basically what it is. Let's keep it, let's not put the, you know, look through these uh, feminist colored American gla- uh, glasses and think that the woman pretty much is more than what she really is. She is serving and a helper, man. And, and you know, men want a woman that look good and that's, you know, pretty much, that's it. Now all this, oh, she's strong and empowered and stuff. That's all cap, man. But anyway, man. <sighs> I don't know. I, I, I just, this place get internally uh, attacked by whoever they letting over the border, so be it. Or, or, or Russia put in that work and, and send this month to oblivion, so be it, man. Or it, it'd be some kind of like that movie the with uh, Batista and uh, what was that? I forgot the name of that movie. So be it. It would be like the road, so be it. Or if it'd be like I Am Legend, the zombie attack, so be it. This place will load it, man. So, until then, <laughs> Remember, remember, man, this is, you can see, I got frustrated <laughs> thinking about all of the degeneracy here. But then when you look at it, now I'm more calm. When I looked at these words, America is only about making money. When you look at it like that, bro, it's like, dang, it become less burdensome. Then you understand it's about you just making your money. And it's, people don't really... Like, why do you think... I just thought about it. Why do you think America, people around the world, countries that around the world make their money in America? You know, you got companies that come over here and make money. You know what I mean? Off of... Uh, well, even the liquor store. Even a 7-Eleven. And, a, you know, these foreigners come over here and do what? Make money. And they do what? Leverage... You take a hundred thousand dollars back to the freaking country, and like, and, bruh, man, Pakistani dude I was talking to, he got owns a Seven Eleven, and it's like, dude, how much money is a Seven Eleven making in the hood? Always traffic there, and I'm like, how 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 much is this? How much is that? How much y'all make off of this item and that item? Seven Eleven be high price, man. <laughs> Bag of chips be like seventy nine cents. You know what I mean? For a small bag of chips. You know what I mean? Everything overpriced. You know, the, 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 what do you call them? Them Chiquiros or whatever that be rolling on the roller. <laughs> the mother's overpriced. You know what I mean? The chicken wings overpriced. A slice of pizza overpriced. And I'm like, man, he got to be making a killing, man. But my point is, he take that bread and he sent it back to his Pakistani. He rich, bro. America is about getting rich, uh, uh, about money. And so I'm like, I need to start looking at it like that. It's not about no relationships with no females. These women are degenerate. These women are defiled. These women are legally empowered to destroy men's lives with reckless abandon and zero re- repercussions. And there's zero, what can you do about this? Other than a purge or something like that, while the system is set up, you can't do nothing about this. The men, we got to look at everybody you know, it's difficult, man, because brothers be loving their children and stuff, man. And the, the children is... Dude, these are... Man, it's hard for me to say, but they... They... 
they part of the, the whole thing, man, like plantation wives and children, man. If they, if they plantation wives, these are plantation children, bro. If you really look at slave plantation, really sad, ain't it? I know. But then if you look at a slave plant, forget just, well, yeah, let's look at a slave plantation. Uh, the white man terrorized our people, took the uh, child away from, basically just kept, a lot of times kept the man over there as a breeding buck. It kept the uh, female as like a breeding mare, you know, just booty and cheeks. And it was all about money. Slavery was all about money. So it's like the slaves, would, you know, you be able to hang and chill with your kids and stuff. You get attached and stuff. But then whew, white man come in, take your kid away. You're going to go over this plantation, boy. What can you do? So similarly, instead of that, that structure, now what we got is the woman as like, in league, same thing, Willie Lynch letter, in league with the system. And essentially, the white man take away the kids through the woman. You know what I mean? So it's like you get these attachments to your kid. I love my kids. Huh? But it, it's like, hey, bro, it's hard for me to say this, but it's the truth. These children ain't even yours, bro. They, they, it's like they, it's still always because of how the legal system is, they, they the woman's children. You see what I mean? Because she could always flip and this and oh, that and this and accuse this and that. And it's like, damn, man, how can you? It, it, it pisses me off because I love my kids. And I've been blessed to able, uh, excuse me, blessed and able to actually have a life with them and stuff. I'm like, But I still had to step back and say, damn, I just thought about it. These are plantation wives and children. So I have to uh, temper my uh, even I love that you love my yeah, most of us brothers, we love our children, but you gotta man, that's whew, I've been through that, bro. I've been through that too. Those are the experiences you go through life, man. Women ain't gotta go through it. Women mature faster, than, they mature unto what, bro? They never have to. It's booty and titties, bro. It's just it's simple. Booty titties extract resources from men. It's not really like the formula you have to grow and become a person and learn what you and learn. Like all of these concepts we talk about in the manosphere and stuff. No, booty and titty. You look good. This guy is approaching you with money. It's like, it's easy for women here. They don't have, they don't even have to compete for the most part. Or compete hard like a Filipino chick. They compete in the Thai chick. They compete in Colombia chick. They compete. They don't have to compete. They, the women in Brazil, they got to compete for men. So, but anyways, back to this, uh, it's really, it's pissed, it's messed up. You know, it's like, damn, you get married, you try to build something. I ain't talking about my personal situation. You know what I mean? But in general, a man can build, you build, you build it, but when a woman can take 50% of everything you ever earn, it's like, where's the motivation here? Like, you're supposed to be able to build and pass this on to your children and children's children, man. And see, y'all supposed to stay together and see your children and grandchildren grow and enjoy the resources you uh, uh, built for them and now they're ahead a step or three or four but instead because a woman is the tool of the system she strips your children away from me a lot of times oh i oh man i've been through that bull man bro bro I, I man bro i just thought about man this 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 is this place is finished bro this place is only for making money. I've been through a situation. Yeah, I had a court order where I was supposed to, you know, be able to see my kid. So I, this bitch was so difficult. I had to literally call the police, literally show them the freaking literal court order. And this is bull to see my freaking kid. But it, it, if it was a biblical country, the kid would be the, the father's. But in this setup, man, the, the child is like a plant, a, you know, a play toy where, by which she can toy with the man's emotions and use the child as a weapon of financial and emotional destruction. I think I'm about to coin that. Yeah, she used the child as a weapon of financial and emotional destruction. That messes with you, man. I'm so blessed I had my father to help me through this process. It was, it was beyond. It was hard. <laughs> but again, I've seen this firsthand. You see the women, they use the what? Courts. You love your kid, man. The more you love your kid, 
it has a lot of times no significance. Again, it depends on the woman. If she's like, no, I don't want to put him on child support. Then, okay, you you whew, dodge a bullet. But if she's vindictive and stuff, she'll just use the child support system and the government will get their percentage. Again, this is about making money. So my final thought process on this is y'all share what you think. I think that it's not good for men in this society to have children with women in this American society and not to have marriages here, legal marriages, and live with women either. I, I think that the couple of brothers I listen to, they they like, yo, make your money, have zero to do with women here in America, and just go through the pain of that, and then just go overseas, get your girlfriend, wife, and stay overseas if you can. If you can't, you come back here, you know what I mean, make you more money and get the hell out. This place, you know, I just thought about this as a spiritual angle too. Babylon, America, was created as a punishment place for the children of Israel, for the Jews. You see what I mean? So I just thought about it. That's, that's and also it say that the children of Israel was going to be delivered from Babylon, Judah specifically. So this was never, now that's talking about a spiritual angle. This was never meant to be a place for things to actually work. You see what I mean? Like you, you, you bring in the scripture and it, it enlightens what's going on. Like, why are women this way? Why is the system that way? Why, why don't she, in the Bible, cooking and cleaning? Why does she act this way with us as black men? But when she get with a non-black dude, she's all super compliant and he wears her natural hair. Like, why don't she give her the same lip? That she gives up, and it's dude, bro, it's it's scripturally enlightening. I guess it just needed to click for me last night again, because I don't know. You just get you live in a, a toxic environment, and it's a lot of times it's, you're just existing, and you're like, man, I'm tired of seeing the simp nigga walking behind his woman. I'm tired of <laughs> you know you just you in the environment. You're like, gosh, I'm tired of seeing the loud assertive women, you simp dude traipsing behind her Ugh, it's just, but then it's like last night it was like now I'm like yo this place is about just yesterday and not last night but it's about just making money bro so I'm like alright let me just refocus and leaving these bras alone I get a pro, uh, semi approach by chicks and here and there but I'm like man I don't even really want these bras my focus is like oh, inter internationally bro like, these women are trash. Majority of them. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. It get a, a brother that got wisdom and knowledge, man. You, you, a lot of times you in your head. I'm, you are an introvert, introspective dude. You in your head and stuff like that. And uh, a thinker, man. But, and it, yeah, but I'm glad I understand these things. America was always about producing money, whether it was, uh, slaves producing money from them or whether it was you know trading slaves or trading forex man <laughs> this place about making money and the government getting a cut whether it's the feminist movement is about destroying families and making money making money making money the women ain't gonna change because they're not forced to change the women ain't gonna become feminine like you no know, filipina and all of this you no know, thai chick beside, uh, beside you okay and they're not gonna do that all right, you might have one or two. The re I look at it like if you have the ability, get the hell out of America. If you sustain, sustain yourself, America is great for making money. I, I look at it, the bread that you, I don't see, oh man, I see an America, man, I, that's what I'm like, dude, I'm on my hustle right now. I keep out posting all that, but. Oh man, I'm just I see it like a clear plan, bro. So, anyways, I'm like, yo, I just need a couple more pieces, like this real estate pieces to fall in place. And I'm like, yo, bro, pay off some debts and stuff, like, bro, bro. Like, bro, I'm trying to tell you, but I, I, I like I don't like just tell. I like when I, anyways, anyways. Uh, but I don't see this place is worthy of me. Like I don't see this place. 
It's worthy of my presence. I see it as a slave plantation, man, because that's what it's always been. It's just the plantation is now you work this job or you go to jail. You pay your child support, you go to jail. Where scripture, how are you going to tell me uh, this is my child? Well, then when they, you find out that, no, this is a plantation child. This is a kid that's the property of the, you know, the woman and her mind is the property of the state. What you going to do? What you going to do, right? The delusion that this is your woman and wife, the delusion that you own your children. Like a man, children was supposed to be his, his wife was supposed to be his freaking property in a patriarchal construct, literally. What are you paying a dowry for? You're paying it for a virgin. And as a, uh, a man that gets a wife begins a what? Possession. She's supposed to literally be your possession. You're responsible for her. She, you know, so it's control equals responsibility. If I don't control it, but that's not where we live, bro. So it's like, like uh, the brother said, man, I forgot, uh, uh, Sigma, I believe it was saying, look, man, it ain't your woman. <laughs> it's just your turn, man. <laughs> you got to really look at them like, you got, that's not, that's not healthy, bro. Like, but we live in a hookup culture, man. It is what it is, man. Even your woman, your wife, oh, oh I, I chose the right one. You just got to choose the right one. All right, you must be able to read the future and see what this chick going to do down the line. I can't. I, you got to mentally look at it. It's, it's a mental game, bro. You got to literally mentally uh, have the mentality, like, all right, this chick might leave. I got to wear her loosely. And since we understand in America is just about making money, bro, you got to wear everything and everybody loosely. Dang, bro, that's not, whew, that's that's difficult. Especially when you love your woman, you love your children, that's difficult. Uh, most I got to help you, help me with that, man. For real, I love my kids, man, but when you know, you know the dangers that are in place, man. I don't know, man, I've been through that. So I look at America as just a place, make as much money as you can, and if you can, leave this place. Do it, man. Go to a cheaper country. I don't even think you even need a passport to go to uh, two countries I'm thinking about. Well, it's other ones too. The British Virgin Islands, Guam, and what was the other one? Puerto Rico. I don't think you need no passport. There's some other countries. Y'all should Google search that, but see what the standard of living is and the cost of living. You might be able to take like five, ten uh, grand and go live five, you know what I mean, five months in that country. You know what I mean? Depending on what it is, bro. But I think I think that man, I just, once you you in the environment, it's it's it's, it's uh, what do you say? Pressing like um, compressing like like uh, the weight of it. That's what I should say. Like uh, the toxicity of being in the environment. It has to affect you in some way. When you keep, in other words, the environment has a negative effect on you. It's toxic. So how can you not see, you know, trannies and rainbow coalition walking around? Is that a dude? Is that a chick? Or oh, it's just a masculine black female? Okay, oh, it's like that. That vexes you. You know, basically what I'm saying. Uh, you continuously see simp's lingering behind the freaking females. That vexes you, man. You see, you you like. I I like watching movies, but <sighs> I was watching uh, one movie with my one of my sons, and what was it? It was a good movie, uh, but again, about thirty, about thir about three three percent, or one third of the way through the movie, then they introduced a strong willed, competitive female character to go against the male character. It's like, damn! I was actually enjoying this freaking movie, and then when they did that, it's just like, wow. I hate this, but they have, they do that many times, like with like uh, different type of movies, man. Especially like man, a movie that a man would be like uh, liking, like yeah, this is a cool action movie. Like yeah, yeah, finally a masculine movie. Then they write in a character, a female character, to be just as good or competitive with the man. It's stupid. So. That's why I'll be watching these Clint Eastwood movies, man. These old school joints. 
Arnold Schwarzenegger and blowing stuff up. Man, this place is trash. Anyways, man, dang, I don't mean for this video to be this long, but uh, yeah, man, I think a good, healthy way to look at this, man, is just to look at America as a place to make this paper, be on nerd mode, collect money, collect gold, buy gold with the fake money until the fake money loses power and gold has even more power. And if you can move your headquarters overseas, you know what I mean? All right, you know, that's, that's, if I had to do it all over again, I'd be in super nerd mode, bro. I wouldn't be good, bro. I wouldn't deal with none of these chicks I've dealt with in my life. I wouldn't have none. Of, I wouldn't speak to none of these chicks. Majority of them. There's been a couple that was cool, but I'd be like a nerd. I'd be a virgin nerd, bro. And just be like, yo. I, as I look at the experiences, a lot of the strife, <laughs> especially with specifically dealing with the courts that came through women, bro. And difficulties, like, this is my this is my son, and you you making it difficult for me to deal with my son. Like, what, what's, what's wrong with you, ho? You know what I mean? Like, like uh, I've dealt with demonic, uh, evil bitches, man. More specifically, this specific one. I'm like, man, what's wrong with you? you, you, you. Basically, I moved on in my life and that kind of thing. This devil bitch was sent to be an adversity, you know. <laughs> and uh, but then again, how you gonna know which one is gonna be like that and which one ain't? So, anyways, that's just my thoughts, man. Now, hopefully, this video you find it empowering, man. And uh, you know, uh, like, share, and subscribe. And if you brothers want to donate and support this channel. Go ahead and do that using the link in the description. Definitely appreciate your support, man. Just uh, we definitely gotta support each other, man. But yeah, man, it's ha, bro. That's America is about just the bag, bro. And then you really look at it technically, it's always been that way. So I'm like, one must really separate themselves from the notion of family here. Ooh. That's see when you was on the slave when when you answer our ancestors on the slave plantation, it was brutal too. But you knew what it was, you know what I mean? Like all right, you know. Then they let the slaves get together, have a quote quote family. But eventually, depending on situation, a slave master might come in and say, "Nah, I'm taking little Malik. He going to another trans, you know, or I'm taking little you know, Lashanda, and she gonna be a breeding mare." And it, but the father like, dang, man, I don't, I don't got associated with my children. I got a family, and it's like an illusion. It's like what they say. Who I think it was uh, was it Claude Anderson, the older brother, man, doctor, or something. The older brother, he be like, well, you do this and you do that. I forgot. It, maybe, it, and people say I sound like <laughs> Neely Fuller, Doctor Neely Fuller. He was like, man, basically what we doing. As uh, we plan, plan family on a slave plantation or something like that, he said. And I thought about it, I said, dang, that's true. That's, it's like you basically plan family because you ain't able to dictate as a man, you know what I mean? Really nothing about your American woman. What can you really dictate to her? She got the leverage of the court system. She can always uh, play victim and cry and press charges. And, and you know, Say you did something to your kid and poof. Now you, you know what I mean? She got leverage and power. And then, you know, as you see, yeah, as you see, even a white man with Johnny Depp, this stuff don't, how can, and you look at it, accusations could destroy a man, bro. You look at a Marvel, uh, Jonathan uh, Majors, and it, accusations, bro. Now he done lost some contracts. Bruh. This is not, uh, it's not sustainable, bro. It's, it's, it's a lost cause, in my opinion. Love your kids and all that, but you got to look at yourself. You got to look for yourself. You got to move things in place for yourself, man. I know it's difficult for a lot of us brothers because we love our children. We love our women, man, but you got to, it's a cold, cold truth, man. You got to really look at this for what it is, man. And this, uh, it's an unhealthy and an un, um, unhealthy and a, a, a unrighteous and unnatural to have a 
mentality of being like uh, kind of um, passive and being kind of, you know, indifferent towards your woman and towards your children. But it's not natural, man. It's not, you know, it's not the way it's supposed to be. But eh, I guess it's these times that we in, man, the place that we in. But I, I think it's a healthy thing to uh, just just understand that people could can be temporary. I guess if you look at it like, oh no, we're gonna build this family and we're gonna stay together forever and, and this is America and we're gonna have a white picket fence and we're gonna last forever and my woman will never leave, leave me. She'll never uh, even uh, look at another man. And Man, that's delusion, bro. <sighs> so I guess if you live in the truth of things, America's about money and this is purposefully legally set up like this to destroy families. And I need to have a mentality of, yo, wear everything loosely and everybody. That's a healthier way to look at it. Even though it's painful, the real pain is if you actually looking at it as though we're permanent and it's all going to work and we're married and we took vows and my woman loves me. If you look at it that way and then when uh, a reality smacks you in the face, <laughs> whew, I'm glad I'm looking at it this way. Let's say it like that. Because, man, if you actually take this chick seriously, we're going to be together forever. And it's all good. And these are my children. And, I, and she'll never take away my kids. And it's just, she'll, you know, like if a dude is all in, that's a bad mentality to have, man. Especially knowing the flaky nature of females. And then when something happened, that dude's all, oh man, he's super devastated. Self-deletion or run and do some things, delete, uh, mass deletion. You know what I mean? You know, it's, public places and brah, brah, you know what I mean? So I'm glad I have this wisdom and understanding and perspective now. Everybody's freaking. <laughs> Anyways, man, like, like, share, and subscribe, brothers, if you will. Uh, hit the notification button and stuff and all that good stuff. And uh, if you want to support the channel, yeah, support it through using the Cash App uh, in the description. And if you want to email me, hit me up. Like, share. Peace.